السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو انادر ایپیسوڈ آف بابا سالال کچن ام حسین بابا اینڈ ٹوڈے ائی ایم گوئنگ ٹو کوک کینٹونی اسٹائل اسٹر فرائی بیف وت ویجی رائٹ سو اینڈ اٹس ویری ڈیلیشس اینڈ اینڈ آئی ہیو بین کوکنگ فار مینی ایئرز اٹس مائی ون آف مائی فیورٹ ڈشز ایز یو نو آئی واز بورن اینڈ ریزڈ ان ہانگ کانگ سو دس ون آف مائی فیورٹ ڈشز سو لیٹ می انٹروڈیوس دی انگریڈینٹ کیمرا مین پلیز کم ان سو ہیئر وی ہیو بیف which is top side beef you can see top side beef does not of a very good quality and it's about 500 gram okay and then along with we have the red capsicum green capsicum and an onion okay and then of course you need sauces so here we have light sauce light soya sauce and this dark soya sauce remember it's two different thing okay dark soya sauce gives the color so you put very little So it is about 1 tablespoon of black soy sauce and 3 tablespoon of light soy sauce. Then we have the garlic and ginger here. Then we have cornstarch, water, oil, pepper and salt. Okay? So these are the ingredients. So very shortly I'll show you how to prepare this delicious dish. Okay, see. All right. Okay, let's start cooking. But before cooking we have to do preparation now very important is we all must be very clean everything has to be clean okay so even make sure your hand is washed clean hygiene is very important in preparation of that meal. we need right. to marinate the beef and uh, you know to marinate the beef we have to cut the beef into slices small slices so I'll show you how we do one piece here we go you got a nice beautiful piece here so we cut it there we go right because this is a, a shredded beef this right so just keep on cutting on the side so what we do we do the rest the same way shredded okay all has been shredded look at that beautiful now it's time for marinating right so to marinate what we do okay we add the garlic and ginger paste all right it goes here and then the dark soya sauce okay and then goes the light soya sauce here we go and then what we do we add a, a we add all this cornstarch spread it yeah that's it Here we go and then we add a bit of uh, we don't add, we add, add a, a bit of uh, a bit of black pepper a little bit yes it's up to you if you want to add it, it's not it's up to you okay all right here we go and also we add sesame oil sesame oil give a good aroma not for taste give good aroma and then we add a water about three tablespoons of water okay and then after that what we do we add about 3 tablespoon of oil 1 2 3 now the reason why we add the oil is because we don't want the beef stuck together when we are frying okay now you have to give a good massage normally you can use chopsticks but the best is use your hand but make sure your hand is washed and clean okay all right bismillah the good massage look at that I'm almost done now already done mixing them together and then we leave it aside for about 15 minutes to be marinated so while it's marinating what we can do we can start cutting the vegetable right okay here we go and then put it aside cover it okay. the beef make sure you wash your hand and then wipe it clean all right now we're going to do the vegetable okay here we go now we take the vegetable here I've already washed it. I took out the seeds and washed it. And here we go. And I like to use the the back side of knife so we see how it kind of looks. Bismillah. We want strip. What we want is strips, right? So here we go. Did you see the strips? 
See how the pine strip? This is the strip that we need, okay? Now, the whole idea is in the vegetable, there's lots of vitamins and minerals. We don't want to overcook it, right? So it's like half cooked. So uh, we have to retain. That's, that's the Chinese cooking, especially Cantonese cooking. Southern Chinese is Cantonese cooking. They love to, uh, do not want to fully cook because they want to retain the minerals and vitamins. So, okay, so what we do, we keep on, that's it. Okay, so I've done all the, the red capsicum. So next one is the green capsicum and then followed by onion. Okay, let's continue with the slicing of this vegetable. Slicing the green capsicum, now we'll go for the onions, right? We get onion cut into half. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Okay, let's start cooking. So in order to cook, we need a wok. We are using a wok this time. Now I'm heating the wok until it gets warm. So I think it's warm enough now. That's okay. And here we go. And uh, what we do, we're going to add the ginger, sliced ginger, okay? And stir a bit, stir a bit. A lot of mana him. I hear the sizzling sound, okay? Look at that. Look at that, how beautiful look. Now we don't add anything, we just keep on stirring it until it cooks. Which, well, so we leave it for about about three to five minutes. That we're doing, okay? Three to five minutes. Beautiful. Beautifully cooked, okay? Okay, we are using another bowl, different bowls already okay, watching. Oil and start cooking the vegetable. So here we did about good. We go and then what we go, what we're going to put next is the sliced onion. Okay, this would be a nice aroma. All right. And as I mentioned, we should not overcook the uh, vegetable. So let's let's say about seven to eighty percent, so that we can retain the minerals and the uh, vitamins. The vegetable, right? Okay. Here we go. We we'll stir this. We don't add any sauce because onion itself has taste. Beautiful taste. On top of it goes the the green pepper. So hand is clean and just put it. Okay. And then on top of it. Goes the red capsicum. Let for a while. So what I do is I add a bit of uh, you know uh, oyster sauce just on top of it. I'll add the salt at the end. And uh, about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Yeah, mix it all around. Not, not on one spot, you have to spread it, spread it, yeah. Okay, all right. Let it, let it cook on its own for about two minutes and then mix it now. Stir fry, look at that. Look at that beauty, look at that color. Mmm. Cameraman, can you smell the aroma? Yes. See, as I mentioned, we don't want to overcook the vegetable. And uh, the taste, the uh, the taste from the onion is really mixing it. Look at that, beautiful. It's all about stirring. Stir, they call it stir fry. So you have to stir. stir. Now, sometimes you might like to add a bit of cornstarch, or may not. So I, I prefer to add a bit of cornstarch here. So I have already ready made cornstarch here. Just a bit of cornstarch and a bit of water. So that's done. The work is done here. 
all right? So it, it's thickened, it thickened the sauce. Look at that, beautiful. And then goes the, the pre-cooked beef. Look at that, beautiful. Look at that beauty. Now, it's time to add the salt. Don't forget the salt. So we, it's uh, according to your taste, okay? According to your taste. I think it's almost done now, so we can turn off the uh, we can turn off the stove and then ready to serve what we do is we transfer it to a white bowl okay look at that you're watching you're watching this okay look at that beauty all right so here we go just move here and then gradually gradually you can transfer it you see that's how you do Now we have to taste the food. So who I have here? Karim. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay. I know you're doing your Chinese cooking. I did my too. My cooking as well. Let's try. Okay. Mm. Looks nice. Little person the bowl. Yes. Get a bit of beef and the capsicum. Yes. Mm. Beef. It's my liar of mine or him. Mm. Mm. The beef is succulent. Exactly. Okay. Very nice, very yeah. nice. Very nice, thank you very mm. much. Well, you also are doing Chinese cooking. Mm. I also did my own Chinese cooking. Well, it's a bit different, it should be a bit different from yours. Yes. So I put a bit more sauce. Mm. <laughs> All right, this one is more healthier. All right, thank you for tasting. See you next time. Thank you.